Hey, uh, it's April the 1st, uh, 2018. I might I remind you, it's Autism Awareness Month and it's Child Abuse Awareness Month and it's April Fool's and Easter all at the same time. And it's all retarded, all of it is. Yeah. I just wanted to remind you of that. Anyways, I just got a comment. Actually, I receive comments all the time on my South America, or not South America, South Africa video and dealing with like the genocide and people getting raped and murdered all over the place over there in South Africa. Um, I always get comments on it. And either it'll be comments from people who understand that genocide is bad or it'll be comments from stupid retards, basically. Um, and we're going to discuss more about that. Uh, the stupid retards, savages, barbarians, the, the list goes on and on. Those people, basically, their line of their their reason and logic will be one of a couple different things. Number one, either people with dark skin deserve to rape and murder all sort of women and children and, and, and every, everything else, farmers, this and that and the other. They deserve to rape those people because of the ancestors that they have that probably got raped and murdered um, and genocided by only specifically light-skinned people, right? This is like the, it's a very, very simple thing that they described to me that happened that somehow I don't know about. First of all, I've heard everything about what they have to say. I've heard everything, right, about their little fantasy land uh, depiction of what history, how history went down. It absolutely didn't. Um, in fact, the, the only reason I know that history does not didn't happen the way that they said is because they, they explain it in such a simple way, right? They explain it as in as in the past four hundred years, only white people, if you're going to call them that, have only been raping and murdering the black people and keeping them down, and that is the story of South Africa. Uh, thing is. It's so easy to tell you that, that that's wrong because you're describing something so incredibly simple. And in fact, believe it or not, South Africa, just like every other country, has a rich uh, history, a very, very complex history. All right? Just so y'all just so know, but most people do know that out there who are not savage barbarians, right? Savage barbarians, they're easily taught that things are very, very, very simple. All right, and since it is so simple as white people have been raping and murdering black people, since it is that simple, well, they figure, well, the only way to to correct this is to have all the black people rape and murder the white people now, and that makes sense, all right? And I have, it's just a whole bunch of comments down there, and they're all going to be somewhat the same, all right? I want to explain something about savage barbarians and, and things, because if you go to my comments, you'll find that... I don't respond to every comment, but if I do have time, I will respond uh, to most of the comments, right? You'll notice it, and if you go look at my responses, you'll be like, well, dang, he's very mean. <laughs> this guy's very mean and very harsh. The things that he says is very harsh, dude. Oh, my God, you look at me and you think, well, what kind of person is that? He's calling people savages. He's calling them godless. He's calling them shameless. He's calling them damn retards, right? thing is... I don't exactly have the patience because, like I said, I've received many, 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 many comments, right, on the same topic. So at this point, I do want to respond sometimes and sometimes I don't. But when I do, it's going to be very harsh. I'm not going to mince words with you. You are a stupid retard, right? You are a stupid savage warfare. If you think that raping and murder is ever an answer to anything, ever, if you think that taking someone's land that they own or that they bought and paid for taking it and taking it away from them no matter what their color is if you think that that's a solution to anything you're stupid you're a savage retard dude you're a freaking barbarian dude It'll put you in the ocean or something because dude nobody needs you around <laughs> i don't care what color you are by the way i want to emphasize that do not care but if you think that that's a solution to anything ever then you're a savage retard barbarian all right you're the scum of the earth and you go you go under my feet all right, or anybody's feet, and I don't care what color feet that they have. You are stupid scum, all right? And I might just, I might just only respond in a few words because, like I said, I don't have the patience. I'm not going to write you all sort of paragraphs like you wrote me. Instead, I'm going to make a video where I say many, many words really, really quick. I don't have time to type in the words like you have time to type in all your savage barbarian words. Trust me, I don't. 
But I wanted to let everybody know out there who's feeling my vibe. Look, I'm going to say harsh words for these stupid barbarians. Absolutely, because forget them, dude. They're stupid barbarians. I wish they weren't here on Earth. All right? In fact, I would love to build a wall around them and have their own little communities where there's a wall around them. And eventually they would all eat each other's faces off because they're so stupid and savage barbarians. Right? So that's what I would love to do. And that's the reason why I use such harsh words. But before we get out of here today, before we get out of here, I want to I explain this. Sometimes it's very easy, in fact, usually it's very easy to slip into, to accidentally stumble into savage, barbarian, godless ways. Very, very easy, right? And I want to explain how it probably usually happens, okay? There's a situation, all right? Let's just say that there's a situation. For example, in South Africa, the situation is uh there's a lot of light-skinned people who are really coming upon hard times uh they want to leave and hopefully australia is going to take a lot of them they're trying to right now or at least certain people in australian government are trying to take in the south african refugees i hope that that happens i hope the united states takes some of them i hope all sort of european countries or just wherever wherever this semi-civilized people i hope they can absorb some of the refugees because they're looking at bad times they're looking at getting raped and murdered all over the place they're getting they're looking at getting their land taken from them with no sort of compensation at all all right imagine if someone came up to your property right now here in america and said hey, look we're gonna take your we're gonna take all your land we're gonna take your house everything we're gonna take everything we're not gonna give you no money in fact if you don't shut the hell up about it we're gonna rape and murder you all right chances are what you would become is a refugee that is the situation that these people are faced with over there in South Africa. And trust me, it does not just pertain to light-skinned people. There's all sort of people about to get their land and their property taken away. No sort of no sort of conversation at all. And if they, they kick up dust, guess what? You get raped and murdered, and the government does not care anything about it. In fact, the government seems to be wanting to support that notion, right? They say rhetorical things that are very much seeming like they're in support of that, right? So that is the situation. But just imagine any situation. You go into any situation, any situation at all. It doesn't matter the colors of the people that are in the situation. If you go into the situation thinking, if you already have a mindset of light-skinned people are bad, terrible people, okay, and now you start to learn about what's going on in South Africa, right? What you're doing is you're becoming very susceptible. Anybody who tells you, that light-skinned people are bad, bad people, and they're the devil. You're going to listen to those people. You're going to say, oh, I think what they're saying is very good and intelligent. Oh, it's very articulate. Oh, yeah, because I went into the situation thinking that and, and, in reverse. It could happen. If you, if you go into a situation, any situation, and already in your mindset is people with dark skin are bad, bad, bad people, and they shouldn't be trusted ever. Right, you're going to go into that situation, and people are going to feed you with propaganda or, or whatever. It's going to be so easy. They're going to take your, your biases and use it against you. It's going to be the easiest. It's going to be fish in the barrel. They're going to tell you whatever that they think that you want to hear, and you're going to believe it. You're going to believe it. Right? Now, for the people who haven't gotten into the South Africa thing, don't know anything about South Africa, all right. If you enter into the situation thinking to yourself, okay, people are individuals. It does not matter what color anybody's skin is, all right. People who maybe work hard and own things, you know, those people have the right to own those things. And uh, people, and it does not matter what color they are. If they have families, wives and children and things of that nature, if you go into the situation thinking, well, people who have families and wives and children and all this, husbands and stuff, they don't deserve to get raped and murdered and have their land stolen. If you go in with that mindset into the South Africa situation, what you'll realize very quickly is those 
light-skinned South African people really are in a bad way. They need to run away. When you see literal videos of Julius Malema riding around in Bentleys and shit like that, like BMWs, like like as if he cares anything about y'all dark-skinned people. He thinks he all is niggas, dude. I promise you. And he's dancing around talking about shooting people because of their skin tone. You automatically see, okay, there's a problem here because you shouldn't be talking about shooting anyone because of their skin tone, all right? That shouldn't be something that the government is supporting. You're going to start to understand what reality actually is. But like I say, let's bring it back. If you know nothing about South Africa or its history, all right, you know nothing. You start from scratch. You enter into the situation with the mindset that white people are white devils and the only thing important about people is their skin tone and what their ancestors did. And the fact is, all white people around the earth have to pay reparations to all dark people around the earth. And everything is so, so simple like that. If you enter into the situation with that mindset, you will find yourself believing all sort of absolutely retarded things, all right? It really is that easy. And at that point, once you believe the retarded things, once you believe stuff that's absolutely not even close to reality, whether you're a bad person or not, whether you had bad intent or not, does not matter. You are a stupid, retarded, savage barbarian. You're the scum of the earth, all right? You don't even understand that it shouldn't matter what your skin tone is. It shouldn't matter who your ancestors are. All that should matter is that you're, you're productive, you help people out. Maybe if you're like one of those farmers, you work for a living and stuff. You don't deserve to get raped and murdered all over the place. Have your land stolen for no kind of compensation. All right. But the savage barbarian enters into the whole situation. And they think, oh, these people, they stole the land from the black people. And I'm retarded. I can't understand nothing. <laughs> It's like, meanwhile, if you knew anything about, and I, I'm not an expert, but if you knew anything about the South African history, you understand that those black people that you want to be so simple about, they're not natives to South Africa, all right? You ever heard of the Kohi Kohi or whatever it is, the Koki Koki? Those are the natives of South Africa if you're going back in 400 some odd years. You're talking about Bushmen and stuff like that. They don't even look like the regular Africans, dude. You don't know anything about history. You only know what people who have racist agendas want you to know. They know you're easily manipulated. They know you don't know how to read no books. They know you're a savage barbarian. Jul Julius Malema knows full well that you're so freaking retarded that you can't open a book. He knows that if he starts singing songs and dancing, that your savage retarded mind will buy into it. That's what he knows for a fact. All right, so it doesn't take a bad person with bad intent to become a savage retard. It only takes someone who can't understand that the world is full of complexities. And it's actually not as simple as you want it to be. And you're so savage barbarian that you want people murdered, but you're so lazy and cowardly that you don't want to do it. You just want to cheer on the people who are doing it. All right? That's what we're doing with that there. So, and, and by the way, I'm not talking to these savage barbarians, dude. I'm talking to you out there. You know full well that these people are the scum of the earth, dude. All right, they might as well be zombies living in the Matrix. I mean, they—I mean, they really are the worst of the worst. They really are scum beneath our feet that we should wipe off of our feet before we walk into the house. They are disgusting, lowly people because their brains are so retarded. I mean, their IQs are literally on retard level, seventy and below. These people, all right? So. You may want to debate them. You may want to show them some compassion and, and debate them. At the end of the day, they want to kill you. Why? Because of your skin tone. Why? Because they're freaking retarded. You might as well just call them retards. You might as well call them savages. You might as well call them uh, dirt, scum, garbage individuals because they are. And they'll never learn any better because they don't want to know any better. And, and also, they're not capable of it. Their, their brains really aren't capable of it. So you could... <laughs> You can debate them all day if you want. Me personally, 
I'm gonna call him a savage retard and keep moving. It's March, uh, no, actually April the 1st, 2018, and I'll holler at y'all a little bit later. Also, praise Jesus, and I don't celebrate holidays, y'all, but anyways, I'll holler at y'all later.